Hundreds of Hamilton County inmates who would normally be incarcerated are out on the streets right now, all because of the coronavirus. David Winter now joining us live with the measures the sheriff is taking to keep inmates, his officers and the public safe. David, good evening. Good evening, Kyle. The process began last week. The sheriff, prosecutor, public defender and judges all coming together to determine which inmates are at high risk, like those who are pregnant or elderly, and which high risk offenders could be released early, all with the goal of reducing the number of inmates in jail. Bob Klingler is a defense attorney in Cincinnati. He received notice earlier this week that one of his clients could soon be let out of jail. He was in for petty theft, essentially, uh, stealing merchandise of around 200, value of $200, roughly. Klingler's client is one of hundreds released throughout the past week in order to make this jail a safer place for officers, the inmates, and their families once they're released. I started the paperwork yesterday morning, and by yesterday afternoon, he was out. So it was quick. Really unusual, huh? Uh, very unusual. Yeah, absolutely. It, uh, it's, of course, unprecedented, like a lot of things are with this COVID-19 virus. On March 11th, the Hamilton County inmate population was 1,446. As of this morning, it's down to 1,132, more than 300 released. I know there are rumors of a mass release of inmates from the jail, but that is not the case. At a press conference today, the sheriff said only nonviolent, low-risk inmates were getting released, some who are awaiting trial, others who are still serving their sentences. There are still some double selling, but we're getting to the point now where we're close to single selling every offender. so. You'll have your space then. We asked the public defender about any victims of crime who may be unhappy to hear their perpetrator was freed. If there is potentially a uh, victim on a case, I know the prosecutor's office has been proactively reaching out to every victim to check before anything is done on any case. And the judges always have the final say in who is released. So right now, the jail currently has about a thousand inmates. If the sheriff wants to get down to one inmate per cell, that means another 160 or so inmates will be released within the next few days. Also, the sheriff wanted to make sure that he lets people know that while they will not be responding to medical calls, they'll just let the EMTs handle that, uh, they are going to still, of course, respond to crimes that are in progress. Reporting from my living room to keep a little separation between me and other people. David Winter, back to you in the studio. I was just going to acknowledge that, David. We'd like to see that you're keeping yourself healthy there. Thank you so much. And the sheriff is also eliminating family visits to inmates, taking the temperature of incoming inmates, and any inmate showing symptoms is immediately masked and then seen by a medical professional and then quarantined.